Near the shores of Lake Michigan, Penn State traveled to Evanston, Illinois for Northwestern's homecoming game, and they knew it wasn't going to be an easy Here evening. Here Evanston. Penn State 3-0 in Big Ten play. Northwestern 0-3. This is Powell at the 20. Stays on his feet to the 30. Lost the football. And Northwestern with the takeaway. First and now in an empty backfield. Second and 10. Rolls far side. Looks far side. Delivers. It is caught. 22-yard line. First down, Northwestern. Hersa takes it himself. Touchdown, Northwestern. Opening drive score from a short field, and Northwestern strikes first. Powell again. To the 30, 35, near side 40, cuts inside 45, midfield, and he atones for it by getting to the 44 of Northwestern. McGloin is the starting quarterback. And they'll give the ball the red. Sweeping far side, 40, 40, 35, inside the 35, and down at the 31. Short drop throws, complete Mosby Feller, 25, scoots out of bounds on the far side. McGloin, here comes the blitz, throws, complete. Smith, 10, to the 5, inside the 5, and let's see, it's all mark here, it's all spot, as to whether he has the first down or not, I think they spotted him short. McGloin under center, everybody out, quarterback sneak, good surge, that's a first down for Penn State to the 4.5. Back goes McGloin, he sets in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Penn State, Justin Brown, and the Nittany Lions answer. The offense got the touchdown back immediately, and the defense would now get them the ball back with an answer of their own with a preview of a night that would be full of quarterback pressures. Pressure on the stun and down he goes! The blitz that time by Gerald Hodges and Jack Crawford got him. A pocket just collapsed around him that time. Jack Crawford really picking up his game. Two near side, one far side from the eye. Play action McGloin, back he goes. He loads it up long and deep for Damon Smith. He is open at the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State! 45-yard strike from Matt McGloin to Davon Smith. No one realizes really how fast this guy really is at about 160 pounds. That post pattern and perfect throw by McGloin and the touchdown. A year ago, quarterback Matt McGloin led Penn State to a come-from-behind win over the Wildcats, and he was taking advantage of his first start of 2011 as well. Both quarterbacks were off to strong starts. Northwestern's Dan Persa missed the first three games of the season with an injury, but he was showing why they had averaged 30 points a game since his return. Persa again, touchdown Northwestern! McGloin's under center, pitches the red, to the edge, turns the corner to the 50, 45, cuts inside 40, 35, to the 30, inside the 30, and down at the 26-yard line. Michael Zordich made the block that got the Lions to the edge of the red zone, but that has not been a kind area of the field for them, and they settled for a field goal from Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week, Anthony Farah. And the first half shootout continues. Here's the quarterback drop, the middle 50, 45, 40, Coulter 30, far side 25, 20, 15, Suke bumps him out of bounds. Second and goal at the four. Runs the option near side, lowers the shoulder, touchdown Northwestern. Northwestern takes the lead. Play action, McGloin sets, waits, he throws, it's caught. First down, Justin Brown over the 20, 25. Play action, McGloin back, throws for Brown, got it, steps out of bounds, far side. They fake the reverse, but Lloyd steps up. He leads his own man, and on the run, finds Smith. Smith makes a man miss. He's got great speed, and he's all the way down to the 15-yard line. It was great improvisation by Matt McGloin and Davon Smith, keeping the play alive and getting the Nittany Lions on the doorstep of another touchdown. And it looked like they had it. When McGloin would hit Stephon Green with a screen, and he worked his way to the end zone, only to have the play called back for holding. And again, they would have to settle for three. The kick by Anthony Farah is good, and Penn State draws to within a point. Deep ball from Persa, got a man, caught! First down, Northwestern, and this one is all the way inside the 15-yard line. Throws in the end zone, knocked away by Suke. And Suke reads it well and comes out and makes the play, holds that or an incomplete pass and forces a field goal attempt for Northwestern and it still leaves some time on the clock. Straight drop, McGloin steps up. Now keep it a go, hook slide. Third and one, Silas Red takes it straight ahead, first down and then some. Red with the bounce outside and he's all the way to the 20 yard line, still rumbling. And Red carries it to the 13. They were three man front and Penn State exploited it. And we got a chance right here before the end of the half ball at the 12-yard line to see if we can't take the lead here before the end of the half.
Straight ahead, Green, touchdown, Penn State. Our third lead change of the night as the senior Green finally gets his touchdown. Amazing. Great drive by Penn State in the clutch. Penn State and Northwestern had put together a first half of touchdowns and big plays, together piling up 51 total points. But as night fell on Ryan Field, so too did the long arm of the Penn State defense, making for a reversal of theme in the second half. Back goes Purse on a straight drop, steps up, delivers to left, plucked it and intercepted. Hodges 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Hodges far side 50, 40. Hodges to the 30, stumbles to the 25, to the 20 yard line, and the Nittany Lions get the first takeaway of the game. They deflected it at the line of scrimmage, and Hodges gets his first career interception. Outstanding turn of events here to start the second half for Penn State. They pitch it to Red. Turns the corner, cuts inside, 20, 15, to the 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions gets a takeaway by Hodges, and one play later, Silas Wren is in the end zone. It was the first time in the game that Penn State had a two-score lead, and it would be more than enough for a defense that made some halftime adjustments and was about to take over the game. With a pursuit of the ball and quarterback that would rack up seven sacks and shut out the Wildcats in the second half. It was a Penn State defense that Nittany Lion fans and foes had come to know as one of the stingiest in the country. Third and nine, back he goes, pressure, and Jordan Hill takes him down. Back-to-back -back sacks by the Nittany Lions. Jordan Hill splits a double team. He does it with a quickness that time and gets right up the middle. The game moved to the fourth quarter, and Northwestern found the treading just as treacherous. The Wildcats had not been able to run on Penn State all night, and the Lions also found a way to shut down their passing game, mostly by meeting at the quarterback knocking Dan Persa out of the game and hounding his replacement as well. Trying to make a play with Jordan Hill chasing him and a missed opportunity for Coulter. Sean Stanley was also there. He goes 17 yards the opposite direction. Back goes Coulter. Blitz coming from Hodges. Steps up. Rolls to the 40. Hit and dropped at the... No, he's still on his feet to the 42. Now dropped by Sean Stanley. Penn State for the third time in this game puts together back-to-back -to -back sacks. Oh, what a great job. They continue to go after it. Penn State continues to improve each week. While they didn't put a complete game together against Northwestern, they proved they could win a shootout in the first half and also get the best of a defensive battle in the second half. They remain unbeaten in the Big Ten improved to seven and one. And although he wouldn't make a big deal out of it, Joe Paterno, already the leader in major college coaching wins, ties Eddie Robinson for second place on the all-time list. And in all, a pretty good fall evening by the lake.